Okay, this time everything's going to work correctly, and I can show you the complete walkthrough of how to play Metroid. I think I have everything right here. So, first things first. Choose your landing site. Uh, you have multiple options. Rin Star. Uh, Rin Star. Right, so let's walk through what each of these are. So you first start off and you get to pick where you get to land your ship. Um, each one of these locations is a different mode. Uh, Wrecked ship. Wrecked ship has no rules yet. Rin so you don't want to pick that. Rin Star is a two ball multi ball. Um, a la Quinn's Qu uh, Quill's Quest. Um, but it's also not worth any points right now. So it's fun to play. Um, and you can use it to build up uh, all the base game, which I'll get to that later. Um, but really, it's not worth anything right now. Criteria. Criteria is uh, a mode where you have to shoot both orbits and then the, uh, the scoop in order to land the gunship. Uh, and then you get to explore the planet, and we'll get to how you explore planet uh, later. Norfair. Norfair is a bunch of blinky shots, and you get all of them, and then you hit the side ramp, and that's worth more points. And then there should be able to explore the planet, but I haven't implemented it here yet, so there's Meridia. that. Meridia, you can explore a lot. Um, first mode is hit drop bank, uh, 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 stand up banks. Um, one after another. You can't hit the same one twice in a row in order to add seconds to your um, stay above the quicksand timer. Um, so banks are worth different. Uh, this is four seconds, four seconds, two seconds, and eight seconds. And like I said, you, if you hit this one, the next one you hit has to be a different one. And so on. Ship, Brimstar, Criteria, Norfair, I think that's Meridia. it for now. So, you got some skill shots going on here. We'll make sure we describe each. So, uh, let's start with the banks. Uh, you got a moving light. Uh, and this one, this is the missile bank. So, if you hit it, you get some points and you earn a missile. This one over here is the uh, power bomb bank. So if you hit this one, you get some points and a power bomb. Uh, this one is actually the mini boss bank. Uh, right now, if you hit it, you just get some points. Uh, this one, the entire bank, you see it's not moving. It's just the bank. That is 100,000 points, and it adds a hundred thousand points to every bridge you explode which we will get to uh, let's see what else so that's all four of the main banks you can also hit this target for some points um, didn't really think that through uh, a really cool thing you can do is the emergency landing which is plunge it Get it to go straight down the middle without hitting a switch or flipping. You will get an insurance policy against straight down the middle drains. Um, and that uh, policy gets canceled basically every time, anytime you hit an outlane switch. But if you play the game without hitting an outlane switch, you'll get 100,000 points on drain. So. Uh, drop targets. You hear that clicking? See that up in the upper right? All the lights moving. Uh, the drop target is moving. The the up drop target is moving around. You want to hit that. And if you hit the first one, you just get some points. If you hit the second or the third one, it'll catch it on the uh, behind the lower drop target and then we'll do a countdown and you'll get a chance to do the super skill shot which is uh, it'll drop it onto the upper flipper and you do it up the upper and the side ramp there so that's the one I'm gonna try to demonstrate so 
there we go. We got it. Let's try to try to get the uh, the ramp. As long as those green lights are on, I can hit the side ramp. Shoot the side ramp. And of course, I knock this off. Just give me a second. You know what? That that slingshot hit me kind of hard. All right. My rails have been good recently. Oh, that hurt. So, anyways, now I'm on the planet. Um, like I said, that was um, a sink in the quicksand level, and I already sunk in the quicksand because I wasn't paying attention. So we got that. I think that was all the skill shots. So we've chosen our mode. We're in Meridia. We've sunk to the bottom of the sand pit, unfortunately. Um, let's describe doors. All right, so we've got some doors. I've got a flipper problem here. Likes to stick. Um, so there are certain shots which are doors which will change the mode. In this room, there are two doors and they're both red doors. We got this door and we got this door. Um, blue doors have no special requirement to go through. If you hit them, you change your mode immediately. Red doors, you need a missile in order to do it, in order to change your mode. I do not have a missile right now. Um, so how do we get a missile? This bank here. Complete it. Missile collected. And then I can go to another mode. If I hit that shot. So you see this this room now has two blue doors. Here and here, which will take me to other modes. Uh, there is a map, and eventually it will display the map on the screen. But um, it's it's a documented map at least. Um, what other things are going on? So. If you notice, this center insert is pointing in a direction. Whatever direction it's pointing in, those shots are worth more points. And how do you change it? With the spinner up here. So now you see it's pointing to the left. As opposed to over there. Uh, really, there is there is a technique. These the, Blowing up bridges are worth the most. So if it's going to the right, that's not to the right. But anyways, you get to the point. Uh, you get the point. Um, wherever it's pointing, that area of the play field should be worth more as long as I've coded it correctly. Um, so we described the missile bank. This is the power bomb bank, which you complete. Power bomb collected. To, to get a power bomb. Um, power bombs are used to blow up bridges, which I'll show later. Uh, this bank doesn't do anything yet, except give you some points. Uh, it's going to be like lighting, like mystery. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have mystery, but things like extra ball, call the gunship to like move to another place in the map. Um, really good awards because it's tough to get. It's definitely gettable though. Uh, this qualifies mini boss mode uh, up here. Uh, this actually takes three complete completions of the banks. So there's one. Different sound effects for each level. 
and after the third one, it lights the scoop. Uh, this is going to start mini boss mode once I code it. Uh, it at least acknowledges that you start at mini boss mode, um, but it doesn't actually start it right now. Uh, with mini boss mode, each area you only has one mini boss, so you can only fight it once in each area. So you could actually qualify in one area, fly to another area on your next ball, fight fight the mini boss you want over there. But anyways, see, it acknowledges you started it, but it doesn't actually do anything about it. Um, we've got the drop targets back here. Each room has their own drop target pattern. All right, these are both three, but you can see here, now I have only the two backdrop targets, the green blinky things. Um, so if I were to go over here, it's gonna pop up the other one. And if I were to go back, it's supposed to drop it down. All right, so I might have a bug. I think I know what the bug is. Uh, we'll fix it. But it is supposed to keep track. So I already do two. Can I go back? I think I know what it is. This 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 room in particular does not save it. All right, we'll figure it out. Doesn't matter. It's the way it's supposed to work. Um, what do we got? We got drops. Uh, so behind the drop targets is the up kicker, which gets you to the upper play field. The other way to the upper play field is through here. Uh, let's see. Lanes. These lanes over here. If you complete them, you earn yourself an outlane ball saver, which you can swap from left to right, and you can stack these. So let's say I did this, it launches out the ball for me, ta-da. Bridges, all right, we're finally at bridges. So like I said before, power bomb. you gotta collect a power bomb, and then you have to hit up through this bridge, which is the center lane here. Um, the side ramp is aimed pretty directly at that shot. You're mo most likely to hit it by hitting that side ramp, but that's a tough shot. Uh, another way to do it is to go back through here. See, that didn't go through the center. Or you can go through here. Anyways, to go through the center, it blows up the bridge, and you earn another skill shot. Waiting close to the end. So, I got another skill shot to go for. I'm gonna go for the super again. Oh, uh, seven on the back. Skill shot. I can do this. Ah, oh, so close. All right. What else do we have? Chozo multi ball. So, uh, this is a multi-ball that you can stack on other stuff. Okay, let's go to a little, little more chill area. Um, actually, while we're here, do I have an abyss? I want to go to the abyss. Speaking of bridges, um, different modes either have a um, 
bonus to scoring, or uh, and by modes I mean rooms. That, like you, could, that's that's what we're kind of like moving from room to room. But uh, anyways, they either have a bonus to scoring, or they have an objective. Uh, this one has a bonus to scoring, and you should be able to. Um, should tell you on each room what's what's going on so we're in the abyss and we have two X bridge scoring bridges are worth a lot down here but anyways back to multi ball it's the captive ball here ball locked and this is a backhand shot so mostly you're doing this ball locked See if I can do it for real. Oh. All right. Anyways, that's ball one. Bonus. So after your ball, you can choose to continue where you left off. Since I am in the abyss, Virginia. it would be pretty smart for me to continue because I have two-time bridge scoring, and I have at least one more power bomb that I cheated and got because I hit it with my finger. So I'd want to blow up a bridge with um, 2x bridge scoring. If this was pointing at the bridge, it would be even better. But uh, this. it's not, and also. I didn't actually do that correctly because I want to continue. So anyways, let's go back to the abyss. So now I actually do have that going, going over there. But I intentionally set the exits on this to the orbits. So if you want to change the spinner, while you're here, you can't do it easily on purpose. You can't just like spin the spinner until you get what you want. Because you'll keep leaving the room and you have to hit another shot to come back. And that's because bridges are worth so much. All right, oh, chosen multi ball. Okay, let's do this again. It's a three ball multi ball stack. Shoot the captive ball. And that means that it is, it is ready to go. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. There we go. So here's multi ball. And like I said, it's a three ball multi ball. We're gonna go over here then, apparently. No special music goes with it right now. Three ball, multi ball. Um, here, let's go over here. A little quieter. Uh, so we got some red shots. We got the two ramps and the captive ball are lit red. If you hit them, jackpot. You get a jackpot, and that's add. It gives you points, and it adds to your super jackpot. Um, this one is worth a lot more. Jackpot. Obviously, it should be because it's harder. Uh, this one is worth some. Jackpot. But it's also not that hard, and I don't think it gave me points. But um, we'll look into that later. Um, anyways, super jackpot is collected in the up kicker back here. And that's up through here. You can see the purple lights guiding you in. So let's say you're playing multi ball. Uh, how am I going to do this? There we go. Maybe. There we go. So you've got your stuff, everything under control. You're like, all right, I just got a bunch of jackpots. I'm going to collect my super in the upper right. Uh oh. My uh, my flipper, my flipper is in the way. 
So what you have to do is stage the flipper. And then try to hit it. Or fuck it up, like I just did. Oh well. I lost that. You get the point, I think. Um, I think I got one more thing before we just go over the crap that doesn't do anything yet. Uh, so, there's, an, there's a slingshot up here. Um, that is my upper slingshot. You hit it enough times. Eventually that light comes on, and it becomes player controlled. So, you can use it as a flipper. Although, it's, it's more gimmicky than, than useful. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. But, it's cool. I'm not going to take it out. And then I guess I should describe remaining shots. Um, oh, um, the back ramp. If you hit that over and over, you'll get high, high jump mode. Which is only sort of crappily coded right now it doesn't really it's it's not it's not correct so it's not even worth showing um we got this cool shot here which goes into these pop bumpers uh the scoop doesn't do anything right now really other than shoot it out really hard unless you um there's a reason like mini boss it'll cat it'll hold it for a bit uh, this is a little mini loop over here, which doesn't really do anything other than score some points, and it's used as a door in some cases. Um, orbits are eventually going to start shine spark mode, but that's not coded yet. Uh, get enough spinner hits, eventually it'll be um, spin attack mode, but that's not coded yet. Uh, upper play field, completing these lanes. Right now it gives you some points. Bridge to oh. Didn't mean to do that. That that's the trigger, is the upper the middle thing. The other power bomb. Anyways. Um that's gonna start a multi ball if you complete that. Um There's uh alright, so the pop bumpers, I haven't quite figured out what the pop bumpers are gonna do, but there'll be something. Uh, there's also a subway entrance in the pops, which feeds the back of the scoop. There's also this pit back here, which feeds the scoop. That's Those are going to all trigger different modes and things like that. Um, I've got some cool things planned for the drop targets. There's probably more. Uh, getting through the game. Bosses. At the bottom of each level, you'll fight a boss, which will be a mode that takes over the entire game and you do stuff. Same with mini bosses, kind of the same thing. Uh, the main difference is the boss is going to be a four ball multi ball, I think. Um, uh, what else is there? I don't know. I think I might have covered everything. So yes, that's Metroid Pinball. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drain that Bonus. ball. I am going to quit that game. I'm going to start it back up again in attract mode. I'm going to put the glass back on. And to wrap this up, I am going to attempt to actually play the game for real. So let's see how that goes. Boot. Boot up. There we go. Let's go grab the glass. So much going on in this game. Already, and it's not even close to done. Uh, that up there, that up there, there we go. Turn this in. 
Watch, watch everything just fall apart right now. It's been doing great all night. All right, here we go. So, uh, I'm going to start with Criteria. Criteria is land the gunship. So I hit both orbits and then the scoop. Uh, I can also pound on this target down here and increase all the shots after I land the gunship. So, by 25,000 points each. Which is a lot. Whoa, I got the super social. Oh, I forgot about that. That's something coded that I totally forgot about. Because it doesn't happen very often on this version of the playfield. So, if you hit the missile skill shot and it ricochets off into that mini loop, you get the super skill shot. That's like a super secret skill shot. And out. Bonus. I'm glad it reminded me of that. I haven't gotten that in a while. So there's two super skill shots. So on the original play field, right here, that shot would happen all the time. It was way easier. And now I have this nice clear coated play field. Can't hit the wrong angle. I actually moved some stuff, so that's probably half of it. All right, I got the shot, but I didn't have a power bomb, so no bridge. What's up, Wolfman? I haven't quite figured out what, I, what the mini loop is going to qualify after you hit like so many of them. It's got to it's got to do something. Power bomb. I got my power bomb. I need my bridge. Oh yeah, the Twitch features. I forgot to mention those. You just saw the chat up on the DMD. There's one orbit. Also, um, for every uh, currently set to 25 bits you donate, it adds a ball to my game. All right, I got the player controlled sling and I screwed it up. Bonus. Oh well, but only when the game is going on. Um, please don't donate money. Actually, it's it's really fun. It it it's cool, but it, it breaks occasionally. I don't quite have. I I made the twippy cut. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure I'm gonna win, but I hope I win. Um, there are some really cool games that I'm up against. So, um, who knows how that's gonna go? Um, but. I am, I am honored to be nominated. I'm going to put Twippy nominated in the in track mode somewhere. And because uh, even though I'm probably not going to win. Um, but thank you so much for everyone who nominated me. All right. Well, anyways, that's our video for uh, Metroid gameplay. And it probably lasted like, what was that? Like at least a half an hour. So let's hit stop recording and uh, let's go back to the Twitch stream.